for tuning into this episode of We Are Living Healthy. We have an amazing show lined up for you today. Public health has been front and center for more than two years. The Virginia Department of Health will be letting us know where they are now. And if you're trying to find quality care and a fulfilling lifestyle for your loved one, join us because we're going to be taking a field trip to Menowood Retirement Community. And if you're a part of the 52% of men who are suffering from some type of erectile dysfunction, you don't want to go anywhere because Bridgeside Medical Clinic is going to show us a non-invasive treatment. We also pay a visit to the Orthopedic and Spine Center as they introduce a new NeoGen technology. Don't go anywhere. It's going to be great. I'm Jeff Stover. I'm the Chief of Staff for the Virginia Department of Health. I've uh, been working for VDH for about 24 years. We started this campaign, you know, I Am Public Health, really to try and get the word out a little more about what public health really does. We know from a public health agency perspective that many people don't really know what happens in public health. I used to respond when people would ask what we do in public health in the program. I'd say, well, we work in silence because so much of what we do is prevent problems. And certainly the pandemic, we haven't been working in silence, so it's a whole different story. But, but I will say that in my mind, public health is a team sport. In contrast to, say, primary care providers where they're providing medical care, we're the partners of those folks. We provide some clinical care for sure, but our work is primarily out in the community because our goal is to provide a health and safety environment for not just our citizens, but anybody who comes through the community and to be able to create an environment where there's motivation for them to also be healthy. The pandemic was not normal in that so much of our focus had to be on COVID and had to mobilize quickly for testing and vaccination and for communication. But um, we're getting back to what if one can call anything in public health normal, but we're, we're getting back to that now so that we can really hear what the community needs are. We wanted to take what our public health workforce feels. You know, they're a very proud workforce. So we wanted to use this campaign to use our workforce to our collective advantage. There's not a lot of careers, I think, that people drive home in the evening feeling like I made a difference, right? Something I did really affected my community in a better way. They are committed to our mission. Uh, public health is an avocation, it's a calling. It's not a job. Our reward for what we do is, I mean, I can't tell you how many thank yous we hear. How, how many people have, have been grateful because they've been able to be vaccinated. I know we're, we're starting to have cases again, and we're starting to have problems, but we have those connections now. In public health, you're out in the trenches. You go into their homes, you, you go into their environment, and, and you meet them. You see them when they're really maybe afraid, and you're holding their hand and helping them. And our staff is excellent at that. Our workforce is that proud workforce. So we titled it I Am Public Health so that our workforce could really get behind it and use it in a way that really encourages people to think about public health a little more broadly. The success behind it really is about ensuring that everyday people understand that public health is more than COVID prevention and that they can talk around the coffee table a little bit more about what public health is, the types of things that we do. And uh, in addition to that, potentially encourage, especially our younger people, folks who are maybe in high school, maybe in college, they're still trying to figure out their way that public health is an option. These types of careers are available to people. The more people are going into public health than ever, and we want people in Virginia in particular to feel like that's another avenue that they can use. It's good to be a part of public health and to say I am public health. This is not health like health care. It's whole person considerations and helping people to believe in themselves. You're not going to do things helpful for you or the community if you don't believe in yourself. So all of those things certainly 
certainly play a role. So we were very fortunate to have Blair Underwood, who's a native of Petersburg, Virginia, to help us out with this campaign. We have a generation of people coming into the workforce, and not necessarily just public health, but coming into the workforce who want to make a difference. We want them to understand that public health is a place where you can do that. The I Am Public Health campaign uh, is going to be successful. We've made things possible on that landing page so they can see this is how I can volunteer. This is how I can be an ambassador to public health. This is how I can get involved. Uh, and then you can do things on your own, like getting vaccinated for COVID, using exposure notifications. So we've got lots of shareables on that website. We hope through this campaign to not only better explain what we do and provide opportunities for people to be involved, but to use it as an opportunity to create transparency, which is going to create better trust amongst the public. Uh, and if we can do that, then this campaign has been really successful. This episode of We Are Living Healthy is brought to you by the Virginia Department of Health, Bridgeside Medical Clinic, Optima Health, the Orthopedic and Spine Center, and Centera, improving health in our communities every day. Learn more at centeracares.com. We're also brought to you by Menowood Retirement Community, where the people make the place.